First of all, I would just like to quickly thank everyone for the outpouring of sympathy and concern after my last video. It turns out that one of my medications had just expired the day before, so it lost all of its efficacy. But after a quick trip to my dealer, everything is back to normal and there has been no permanent damage. In that last video and in several other videos recently, I have mentioned that the power output of handheld HT walkie-talkie radios does not matter. Or to be more precise, it does matter, but the power output is not the most important factor in determining how many FARs a handheld HT GMRS or HAMS radio's walkie-talkie can give. And it is my firm belief that everyone should stop obsessing about power output. Indeed, it is my contention that the radio design and the design and the tuning of the antenna and most importantly, what is between you and the other radio that you want to talk with are far more important in determining how many FARs a radio will give. Far more important than just the power output in the context of a handheld HT walkie-talkie radio that is supposed to output around 5 watts. In other words, it does not really matter if the radio outputs 2 watts, 5 watts, or 8 watts because normal people, when using a handheld HT walkie-talkie radio to do normal things will not notice any difference. Now, to be clear, power output does matter at some point and in certain situations. All else being equal, a radio outputting 8 watts will likely have more FARs than a radio outputting only half a watt. Or if you're using 50 feet or more of coax to connect to an antenna, more power will make a difference due to the FAMAMAMAM of power loss through the coax. Or if you're trying to talk to someone through a thick forest or someone that is in a cornfield for some reason, more power can help. A little. Maybe. But for all intensive purposes, usually, most of the time, on average, generally speaking, when you are using a HT handheld walkie-talkie radio, whether it is a GMRS radio or a HAMS radios on 70 semen eaters. If you are using that radio for anything other than just sitting on the couch and trying to bounce the signal off the moon, the power output within a few watts does not really matter. And to not purchase a radio that says 5 watts on the box just because it only outputs 3 watts or 3.5 watts when some YouTuber tested it would be stupid. Now, this all might be different on other hams, radios, bands, and on CB radio. I don't know, because I don't care. For this video, we are talking about GMRS and hams radios 70 semen eaters, or as us radio experts refer to it, UHF. UHF. Anyway, I have said this in a few videos, and in the comments of those videos, many people have agreed and confirmed that, of course, I am correct. Many others have disagreed with me and proclaimed that I don't know what I'm talking about. And still other viewers have said, it depends. So in this video, instead of talking about it, I am going to do a real world test to see if more power makes any difference. And if it does make a difference, how much of a difference does it make? But the real test here is to see if I have been right all this time or if I don't know what I'm talking about like some people proclaim. For this very impotent test, I will be using this Boofwang UV5G Plus handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio that I randomly grabbed out of the Jenga wall of radios behind me. This radio outputs just under six and a half watts when set on high power, 5.2 watts on medium, and two and a half watts when set to low power. Using this radio, I will call my friend Conrad, the chef, at his house 13 miles away, and he will record how I sound on his base station whilst I switch between the power levels. And your role in this test will not be just as a passive stooge blankly staring at the screen to avoid your own thoughts. Nay, your role will be to make use of your own sonic data collection holes and decide for yourself 
how much of a difference there is between the different power levels, thusly determining if I have been right all along or if I have been wrong, as some people proclaim. After the test, I will explain how to report your results. This is a big responsibility for you, so don't fuck this up. Are you ready? Chef Fro, Chef Chef Fro, do you copy? How do I sound at six and a half watts? Six point five watts. One, two, three, four, five. Chef Fro, Chef Fro, how do I sound at five watts? Five watts. One, two, three, quattro, cinco. So as you just heard with your very own sonic input holes, there was very little difference between six and a half watts and five watts from 13 miles away. Now use your sonic input holes to see what two watts sounds like. Tempro, tempro, how do I sound at two watts? Two watts. Uno, dos, tres, four, five. So as you just heard with your very own sonic input holes, there was virtually zero difference between 5 watts and 6.5 and watts, and only a small difference between 2 watts and 6.5 and watts at a distance of 13 miles of FARS. Now to be clear, there could be circumstances where that difference between 2 watts and 5 or 6 watts might make a more significant difference. And theoretically, that difference could be the difference in hearing someone or not being able to hear someone. However, usually, most of the time, in general, on average, a difference in power of a few watts is not going to make a big difference, as you just heard. Certainly not enough of a difference to justify not purchasing an otherwise great radio just because some random YouTuber says that his only outputted 3 watts instead of 5 watts like it says on the box. Now I am sure that some people are going to leave comments and point out that this was not a scientific test because I didn't use precise test equipment, and this is true. However, it's not a scientist or an expensive piece of test equipment that uses your radio now, is it? No, it's not. It's you and your friend both using your human noise holes, just like in this test. So, and now for the most important part, it is time to do your part and leave a comment below reporting your conclusion. Was I right or was I wrong? <laughs>